but I hugely enjoyed being a patron of the Royal College of Occupational Therapists since 1987, so I've seen a few changes. Um, this building was one when they arrived here, and now it's changed again uh, entirely appropriately, uh, and in the sense of the way in which it responds to members and the expectation of members. Uh, and that's uh, hugely to be encouraged and, and thanked. And I think we, it's sometimes difficult to judge just how much more OTs are doing, um, because although in a way you're always feeling that there's more you can do and you need more OTs, uh, in this, even in the time that I've been involved, the understanding and the, their involvement and their ability to evaluate and measure in, in a much more constructive way has changed out of all recognition. So there's an awful lot to congratulate yourselves on, um, but knowing that you actually need a proper base to work from to support all your members and the partners with which you work. Because when I first be became patron, it was very obvious that OTs were often seen as a very crucial team building members. And they were the people who brought teams together, but. The teams uh, across the board now are working more and more, more recognised and more members of that team. And perhaps the thing that is most worrying about the changes in terms of uh, cuts is that it will put pressure on those individual members of those teams. So they're a little, instead of working together more, that they're a bit more fighting their own corners. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, would be a seriously backward step because all of their specialties and their knowledge are really important. And it's maintaining that balance of input uh, that will create, I think, a, a much better healthcare uh, at, the, at the baseline, at the access points, uh, which we have to work towards. And this really does, it highlights that, uh, uh, those people who are here today, uh, how much across the board that is particularly the mental or physical, obvious ones, I suppose, mental or physical illnesses, disabilities, simply the getting older. Um, but 87, crucially, I suppose, from my perspective, was where the trust for carers came from. And a lot of that came from the experience of OTs. Uh, so I can blame you, partly, for uh, <laughs> that understanding. But uh, hospital... Um, Discharge papers and the concept of. Is that not you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I can't leave anybody behind. Your room space. I think it's the mic. I think it's the mic. I have to shout. Is that right? But one of the areas that the, the Trust was very much aware of was how key in supporting carers OTs were because they were the link. Uh, between the health and the social services, uh, hospital, admittance, and going home. And that is an absolutely crucial part of the evaluation for carers' perspectives. You are their best um, supporters. And that became very obvious. And that crosses the board because no two carers are the same. They're always looking after very different uh, um, situations and in, from very different starting points. So that really raised the issue about how important OTs were in terms of the rest of the, um, the opportunities for uh, health services to be brought in to support carers. From my perspective, that was extremely important. Um, you have evolved a lot beyond that, and the support for the foundation, the research work, a lot of which has been driven from the fact you actually had somewhere to do it from. And what I hope that this building will do was to, is to do the same again, is to give a step change in terms of the attitude of members and your partners as to how to drive research and what are the key areas in which you need to do that and the figures you need to get back in order to support what you do and what your partners do as a team. This building will be really important <coughs> from that perspective. Having somewhere nice to work makes, makes a bit of a difference for those of you who work here and you've put up with a lot in terms of being moved and come back. But the service that you can give from here to your members and to those you work with, absolutely crucial. So it's a pleasure to see what, what has happened here, uh, what you've created from the space that you had before, and to look forward to what you can do um, 
to what you can add in terms of value of than what you did before. So from the college's perspective and the association's perspective, this building is really good news and it's really nice to see so many people who come to support you on this occasion. And a pleasure to officially open your um, perhaps recycled building. <laughs> 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 Thank you.